For this exercise, stand with your feet shoulder width distance apart. And from there, just check that the weight is distributed evenly between the balls of your feet and your heels. So you may want to rock backwards and forwards just a little, just to check that you found that even distribution of the weight between the balls and the heels. And then also just introduce a little bend into your knees if it's not there already. The knees should be loose and relaxed, but not so bent that you feel any pressure on the thighs. And then just drawing the tailbone down, so moving in that direction and tilting the pelvis very slightly forward. So almost as though you're kind of tucking everything in at the back, creating a little bit more of a flat back, but with no pressure or tension. Allow the shoulders to relax, keeping them well away from your ears. And then just shaking out the arms, just allowing them to be very loose, hanging down by your sides. Tuck the chin back towards your throat. And as you do that, feel an elevation in the back of the head and the neck, as though you're being pulled up by a string. Feel that lovely elongation in the spine, just at the top of your neck area. And then close your mouth, Bring a smile to the corners of your mouth and allow your tongue to rest against the roof of the mouth with the tip of the tongue against the back of the upper teeth. By smiling, you just help to release any tension that you might be holding in the facial muscles. And beginning with a few abdominal breaths. So closing the eyes very gently, breathing in and out through the nose, Bringing your mind to your breath. And just notice as you're breathing, can you feel your heart beating inside your chest? Are you aware of that? And if you are, just making a mental note with no judgment, just a simple observation of whether you feel your heart is beating fast or slow or at a medium speed. Breathing in, feeling your belly expand, so relaxing in the abdominal muscles as though you're blowing up a balloon. And then breathing out, feeling the belly shrink as you exhale. Settling into the practice now. Each time you breathe in, feel yourself getting taller, elongating through the back of the body, through the spine. And each time you breathe out, Think of releasing any areas of tension or discomfort that you may be feeling in your body. Letting go with each exhale, but taking care not to slump in the body as you do that. So by being aware of getting taller as you inhale, that allows you to maintain a lovely upright posture and alignment through your spine, which keeps everything open and free flowing, just allowing that little bit of space between the vertebrae for the chi and the blood to flow. And now gently opening your eyes so that you can see me. And now keeping the smile on your face as much as you can throughout this practice. So with this exercise, we're going to use a sound associated with the heart. And that sound is K. So it's almost like the, letter, the letters K-E, K, but you say it in the back of your throat. K. K. So... All sound has a frequency and a vibration and 
the six healing sounds, which is a really famous Qigong routine or practice, is it's very well known, very well known. Um, and I, I teach that in my space to relax 50 week program. Um, it can be very effective for helping you to release or what's called discharge any waste chi from the body. And each sound is associated with a different organ. So k is the sound associated with the heart. And we put a movement together with this. And also, of course, using your mind and breath. So Qigong is the practice of combining movement, mind and breath all together in order to help create the conditions for free flow of Qi throughout the body. And we have the, ed the added benefit of the sound for this one. So I'll show you the movement first of all. So all you want to do is have bent knees, just very slightly, nice springy knees, um, and then just coming up with the hands, lifting the hands, keeping the shoulders down. So don't allow the shoulders to come up like this. Shoulders stay down, hands just floating up to around shoulder height. And then from here, all you're going to do is move to one side and sink in the knees and drop the hands down, looking down towards that side behind you. So just down towards that heel. And then coming up, springing up in the knees, but not straightening the legs all together, keeping that bend nice and soft, Arms float up with the knees. Knees sink down, hands sink down to the other side, looking down at that opposite heel. And coming up. So it's this idea that the arms are floating and sinking. And in the knees, getting taller and then sinking down to the side. And that sinking action encourages the downwards and outwards flow of chi. And that's what we want to do because we're getting rid of any waste chi. So we, do, we want it rid of out of our bodies. And when you're looking down, try and keep your, your mouth looking over and away from your shoulder, not onto your shoulder, because you're going to use the breath in a moment and you don't want to breathe any sick chi down into your shoulder. So keep just looking away very slightly, but, but in a general downwards direction. So now with the breath from here, breathe in, floating the arms up, breathe out, floating the arms down, breathing in and breathing out, not forgetting what's going on with the knees. So nice and gentle, as smooth as you can with the breath. So breathing in through the nose, now let's work with the sound. As you breathe out, say the sound. <laughs> breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and then just allow the arms to come back down by your sides. So that was a little practice run just to get the idea of the movement and the sound together. Now we're going to bring the mind into this. So just for a moment, hands down by your sides, closing your eyes. Breathing in and out through the nose using your abdominal breath. Bring your mind to your heart. Think about your heart for about three breaths, keeping your mind in the heart, in that center of the chest area. and thinking of any waste chi in our heart. Now that may take the form of uncomfortable emotions. It may take the form of maybe any chest tightness any breathing difficulties. It could be in the form of depression or general uneasiness, but you don't have to be concerned about exactly what it is. Just know that with this Qigong routine, you're going to be assisting and helping to discharge anything that your heart system as a whole doesn't need. So keeping the mind in the heart now, and then gently opening the eyes and take a breath in, allow the hands to float up, 
and then breathing out to one side with the sound. Thinking of discharging waist chi with each movement sideways. Ridding it from the heart system. Don't forget the knees. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth as you make the sound. Hands and arms very soft. Shoulders relaxed. Three more. Allow the arms to float up and then gently sinking back down, smiling. Allow the hands to come to rest by your side, dropping in the shoulders. Close the eyes for a moment and coming back to your abdominal breath, breathing in and out through the nose. Observing now how that area in your chest where your heart is housed is feeling. How your mind feels. And then gently opening the eyes. So that's a fabulous exercise if you're feeling a little bit scattered in your mind, if you're feeling a little bit stressed or worried, if you're feeling a bit depressed um, and you just need to feel a little bit cleaner in this kind of and more open in this chest area. So getting rid of any waste chi is fantastic because it clears the decks, it opens up a little bit more space inside for more kind of healing chi to come in. So this is a really brilliant practice to do in outside in nature, because obviously nature will just take away any of your chi, it will be blown away in the wind. And if you are practicing inside, it's a good idea to practice next to an open window so that your waist chi can disappear out the room and you're not re-inhaling it afterwards. But do make sure with an open window that you're not standing in a draft. <laughs> 